And here I am again, brothers and sisters. This is uh, part three of a sermon I'm teaching on how to be saved. If you turn to me, Ephesians 2.8. Uh -huh. Ephesians 2.8. I gotta look for it myself. It was hidden. <laughs> Ephesians two eight tells you for by the grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God. <clears throat> and I do believe there is more to this. No, there ain't. The Lord, brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you. Again, just like Jesus Christ says, you have to be born again. You have to be repent. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have to trust Him. You have to have faith in Him, Lord, son. That's the only way you're going to have eternal life. First of all, in order, repent. Being baptized, repent again. You have to constantly be in prayer. You have to constantly forgive people, regardless of what they've done to you. You have to love one another. You have to love your God, regardless of any, whether you might want to or not. You have to love Him. He's done so much for you, it's not even funny. Jesus came for one reason to save those which is lost and take his children home. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for your sins. He died so, so you would not have to go to hell. <coughs> but if you don't repent, and you don't get baptized and you don't get saved, you're going to wind up there anyway. So I'm telling you, you need to get saved before it's too late. You need to go to God, get on your hands and knees, and pray to Him and ask Him for your repentance of your sins and transgressions. And then once you do that, go get baptized. And then live the life that you should live. And not the life that you want to live. Yes, there's going to be choices you have to make. Being Christian is not easy. There is choices and decisions you will have to make. Because you cannot. You cannot. Love one. And hate the other. You can't hate nobody regardless. Hate is the same thing as murder. God tells you that. Hate to him is the same thing as murder. If you hate someone. You're also a martyr in God's eyes. I'm letting you know that. And I prove it to you. I prove it to you right now. <coughs> go to hate. Let's go to. Uh, Leviticus 9, Leviticus 9, 19, verse 16 through 19. For you shall not go about as a tellerbur, 
among your people, nor shall you stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate your brother in your heart. You shall surely rebuke your neighbor and not bear sin because of him. You shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudges against the children of your people. But you shall love your neighbors as yourself. I am the Lord. Verse 19 says, You shall keep my status, and you shall not let your livestock breed with another kind. You shall not sow your field with mixed seeds, nor shall a garment of mixed linen, wool, and wool come, come upon you. Another thing is you cannot be doing, and it's not God-like, is you cannot be mixing with other colors. If you're in love with someone, yes, you can love them. But as far as a, a relationship that boyfriend and girlfriend or marriage or husband and wife kind, you cannot, God does not like it when you mix your color with other colors. And that's what he's talking about. And again, God is not prejudice. Believe me, he's not. Yes, God made us all one blood. But he also expects you standing your own kind. Turn me to Luke chapter 6, verse 27. But I say to you, hear, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who despitefully use you. To him who strikes you on one cheek, offer him also the other. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from him who takes away your goods, and do not ask for them back again. But if you love those who only love you, what credit is there for you? For even sinners love those who love them. Proverbs 10.18 Ten eighteen talks about whosoever hides hatred has lying lips, and who and whosoever spreads slander is a fool. That's in Proverbs uh, ten eighteen. Verse twelve, 10, uh, Proverbs ten twelve says hatred starts up strife, but love covers all sin. Matthew, turn me to Matthew five forty three. Beginning in verse 43, chapter 5 in, in Matthew. You have heard that it is said you shall love your neighbors and hate your enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemy and bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. And pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be the sons of fathers in heaven. For, for, for he makes his, his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain upon just and the unjust. For if you love those who only love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you were, and if you greet your brother, only what do you do more than others? Do not even tax collectors do so. Therefore, you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Turn me uh, first John Chapter two verse nine He who says he is light of light is in light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. In verse ten he says he who loves his brother abides in light and there is no cause for stumbling to in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Do not, in verse, verse two, chapter 2, verse 15 says this, Do not love the world of things in the world. If anyone loves the, anyone who loves, the, the, loves anything of the world, love, the Father is not in him. 
Verse 16 says, For all who, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life is not of the Father, but, but of the world. And the world is passing away, the lust of it, but if who does the will of God abides forever. Okay. Three eleven through twenty. Go me chapter uh, John three, first uh, John chapter three, verse eleven. For in the message of your heart of beginning we shall love one another, not as Cain who has wicked one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his works were evil, and his brother's was righteous. Do not marvel, in verse 13 says, Do not marvel, my brother, if the world hates you. We know that the world will pass from death to life because we love the brother. And he who does not love his brother abides in death. And whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that, the, that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. There you go. First John chapter 3 verse 15 tells you that those who hate his brother, those that hate, is a murderer. So there you go, brothers and sisters. There's your scriptures. And God be with you. And God loves you. And God bless you. And hear this word. And take it serious. Good night. I love you.